What's up, beautiful babes? Sweet Angel here. And I'm here to answer the question of what can I do about fading old dark spots on my face and my body? Well, we're going to answer some of that today and we'll continue to share other great home remedies. Now, I say home remedies. These are things that you currently have in your kitchen in your bathroom that you can use right away. Now, I will tell you this. There are top ingredients and products that guarantee results in treating dark spots on the skin. The ones that you may have heard of is hydroquinone. Honestly speaking, I don't even think hydroquinone is available for purchase but I may be wrong, but I don't have anything that's naturally comparable to that. Then you have acylaic acid and then glycolic acid, kojic acid, and you also have retinoids such as retinol, tretinoin, adapalene gel, and tazeratine. And you also have vitamin C. So at home, what we like to do on Beauty by Sweet Angel is find ingredients that we may have in the fridge or in our cupboards that has these ingredients in them naturally. We're going to take out the hydroquinone because I don't think I'll have anything at home that actually has it in there. But let's start with the azelaic acid. Now, this is going to sound so interesting, and it's interesting to me anytime I do research on different products. But did you know that you can find azelaic acid in wheat, rye, and barley? That is right. Azelaic acid is a saturated dicoboxylic acid found naturally in wheat, rye, and barley. So grab your wheat flour and start mixing up you a wonderful facial mask or skin paste and start working on those dark spots. So I mentioned glycolic acid. Yes, you can easily buy affordable glycolic acid and use it in accordance with the instructions of the brand or maker. However, glycolic acid is actually a naturally occurring compound, meaning that it is found in nature and is naturally made by plants. It is especially found in high concentrations in citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruit. But kiwi, sugarcane, and even grapes are other examples of fruits that contain glycolic acid. So you're probably ready to start doing perhaps a sugar scrub, or taking that orange and putting some juice and some wheat flour together and making a paste. Hmm, sounds interesting, right? This is just how we come up with our home remedies. Now let's get to the next one, which I find to be really interesting. Kojic acid. Now normally I do just simply buy the kojic acid soap, but did you know that kojic acid is a naturally occurring ingredient and can be obtained from rice and mushrooms, a type of fungus. They are both used as primary natural sources of kojic acid. However, it can also be procured from fermented foods such as soy sauce, rice wine, and sake. If you're loving what I'm giving right now, please go ahead and drop a like on this video. That would be so much appreciated. So now let's talk about those retinoids, such as retinol, tretinoin, adapalene gel, and tazeratine. And since those are all retinoids, let's put it like this. Retinol is a vitamin A derivative. So it makes sense that there are natural oils also rich in the vitamin like rosehip and carrot seed oil. Rosehip oil is exceptional in regenerating and healing the skin while increasing collagen production and skin elasticity. Rosehip oil is high 
and vitamin A. And vitamin A is a natural retinoid that helps fight aging. And this vitamin can also help reverse the effects of the sun on the skin. You can also use carrot seed oil, as I mentioned, broccoli seed oil, apricot kernel oil, peach kernel oil, avocado oil, and babab oil. These are all sources of natural retinol. Now, if you miss dropping that like on the video, you can go ahead and do that now. We have one more to talk about that's incredible in fading old dark spots on the face and the body, and that is vitamin C. Now, most of us are aware where you can get natural sources of vitamin C from. Of course, of course, we all know citrus fruits like oranges, kiwis, lemons, and grapefruits. But did you also know it's in bell peppers and strawberries and tomatoes and even broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower, even in white potatoes. Yes, but you know, most of the time when we're whipping up a facial mask, we're probably going to run towards the citrus fruits versus grabbing a bell pepper, if you know what I mean, or cauliflower. But let me tell you this, if you're looking for the richest source of vitamin C, orange pills is your go-to. The pills are said to contain more vitamin C than the fruit itself. Dried and powdered orange peels can be used in scrubs and masks to absorb oil and tighten the pores. Dried and powdered orange peels make a good scrub when mixed with cream of milk or yogurt. Now I've for sure given you all of the ingredients you can use to whip up a mighty good dark spot treatment. But I know y'all are looking for me to give you some ideas. So let's go ahead and get to the kitchen and whip it up. This is how we're going to do it. First, I had to go ahead and get me a pot of water boiling, which is only about a cup and a half of water in here. And I'm adding in two tablespoons of white rice and then i'm putting in the two tablespoons of sugar now what's a great thing that you can do is actually do a sugar scrub before this it really helps everything to penetrate i then scooped in two tablespoons of white flour or wheat flour as we've talked about and then i let that come to a boil and now while that's boiling, I am slicing my orange and I'll get back to the kitchen, check on my pot and add in the rice vinegar. Let me stir that with a spatula. I stepped away for a second and you know how rice is, it'll stick. Now the rice does not have to be softened completely by, because we're going to actually blend this. I did put in half of an orange, the juice of half of an orange. And once I finish the boiling process, kind of made a little bit of a roux out of it, I'm now going to take it and put it in my cup to blend it up and to get everything all gelled together in there. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. And I struggled with my blender today. She just kept breaking it loose. And um, yeah, I know that it had a little bit of an issue, but I finally made it through it. It was okay. And once I finished it, oh man, it looks so beautiful. Look at there, look at there. Nice and creamy. Now I'm taking it back so I can pour it into my bowl and add the other ingredients. We're taking two tablespoons of orange pill powder and I will list everything below for you. I didn't have my own dried oranges so I'm using the orange pill powder and then I'm taking in two scoops of sour cream. Mixing it well. And now it's time for the rosehip oil. I'm actually adding in three tablespoons of the rosehip oil. Okay. 
and now everything is blended beautifully. It looks great, doesn't it though? Now we're getting ready to apply this. I actually forgot to turn on my camera when I first sat down, so I had washed my face off, cleansed it off really well. Again, if you can do some type of a scrub beforehand, like a light sugar scrub, that will help the ingredients actually penetrate even better into those darkened areas. My biggest problem right now is my cheeks. So I'm getting a little bit of pigmentation there as I get older and I've been working on that diligently as well as underneath my chin where I sometimes don't do my IPL and it'll have a tendency to grow hair under there and ingrown hair sometimes. So I've put it generously all over my face. I'm going to do a little bit of work and do some things in the meantime and let this sit on for a minute. And when I come back, what we're going to do is take it off. Before I actually take it off, as you can see, it's dried down some. I'm going to use this container to put in my leftovers because you're going to do this two to three times a week, two to three times a week. Yes, you see, I am definitely using it as a scrub as well. Over time, this will help repair different types of hyperpigmentation like freckles, acne scars, melasma, spots post-pregnancy, spots from hormone therapy. Also, it's going to help with dark spots on the forehead, upper lip, cheeks, your jawline, your neck, your chin. Even try it on your hands and elbows and underarms and your knees and inner thighs. If you have dark spots because of aging, it can help with age spots, sunspots, liver spots, and more. Of course, you would continue this again two to three times a week. I recommend doing this at night and in the daytime as always. Always apply an SPF sunscreen and reapply as needed throughout the day. Sunscreen is super important in lightening up dark spots, age spots, etc. It's going to help smoothen and brighten and perfect your skin and give you that radiant look you're looking for. It'll help improve the texture of your skin and also give you a more even tone over time. Again, I recommend always definitely cleansing your face and doing a light exfoliation before using it. And if you have to use it during the day, be sure to always put on an SPF, but I recommend using it at night. Your skin will be soft once you remove it. It will feel amazing. Always moisturize again during the day, put on your SPF. I'm just using some of the rosehip oil on my face to further lighten those dark spots that I'm trying to lighten. And I'm also using a new oil that I just recently got in from the Ayurveda Experience. It is the Yavari Amplified Youth Spring. So I'm using this as well on my skin. And also, if you experience any peeling, usually that's normal with this particular face pack. Nothing severe, nothing extreme like a serious peel, but it is helping to renew the skin and bring out your refreshed new skin. Dark spots are those areas where it just hasn't turned over and once it turns over then the peeling will cease. Now if you don't have all of the ingredients that's fine. Work with what you have and you can easily whip up your own face pack in order to help to lighten those dark spots over time. This again can be used on your face and your body. The remaining portion that I have, I'm going to leave it sitting on the counter because what I want it to do is to ferment even further. And after it does that, it'll work even better. This is it, beautiful babes. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I appreciate you all time and time again. If you like this video and got something out of it, please drop a like on the video and also some hearts in the comments. If you have not subscribed, jump on board. Come on along with us and we appreciate you all the time. Let everybody know where you're hanging out at right here. So please share me with your world and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye now.